So this is the kind of question that I find a lot of students find difficult. So hopefully I'll be able to clear it up with this video. Now, the very first question asks us, well, first of all, it tells us, let f be the function fx goes to x squared minus 3x. So that's our function. And then it asks us to express ft and f of 2t plus 1 in terms of t. Now, I find that many students don't really understand what this means. So what it means is you want to find basically what f of t is by substituting t into the function. So you want to get f of t equals, instead of x squared, t squared, instead of minus 3x, minus 3t. That's all you have to do for the first part of this. The second part is a little bit more complicated, right? But it's the same process, right? So f of 2t plus 1, they're saying substitute 2t plus 1 in for x in the function. So we take the 2t plus, 2 plus 1, put it in for x, so we get 2t plus 1 squared minus 3 times 2t plus 1. Now you've got to be careful with this. 2t plus 1 squared does not mean 2t squared plus 1 squared. It means 2t plus 1 times 2t plus 1. Remember, squared means multiplying by itself. Itself, in this case, is 2t plus 1. So 2t plus 1 times 2t plus 1, you can multiply that out by using the split and repeat method. So we multiply the 2t by 2t plus 1 and then the 1 by 2t plus 1, as we did here. And of course, the 3 times 2t plus 1 gives you minus 6t minus 3. Minus by plus gives you minus. So then you multiply out the brackets here and you get 4t squared plus 2t plus 2t plus 1 minus 6t minus 3. Then it's a question of adding the like terms until you end up with 4t squared minus 2t minus 2. So you've answered the second part. You've expressed f of 2t plus 1 in terms of t. This is in terms of t, an expression with t in it. So the second question tells us, hence find the values of t for which f of t is equal to f of 2t plus 1. Now whenever you see the word hence, you should be thinking, I need to use my answer from this to help me solve this. So the answer we got for, for this was f of t equals t squared minus 3t, and f of 2t plus 1 equals 4t squared minus 2t minus 2. And here we're asked to solve f of t equals f of 2t plus 1. So what you have to do here is replace, because you really can't solve that as it stands, you need to um, get that into some form of an equation that you can actually solve. So we know that f of t is equal to t squared minus 3t, so we can replace the f of t with this. And likewise, we can replace the f of 2t plus 1 with this. So we end up with t squared minus 3t equals 4t squared minus 2t minus 2. f of t equals that, f of 2t plus 1 equals that. That's what you have to do. You have to replace these guys. Then you notice that this is a quadratic equation because the highest part of t is 2. It's t squared, so that means it's a quadratic. And whenever you have a quadratic equation, you always want to get everything to one side equal to 0. So you need to bring these guys over here and then simplify until you get 3t squared plus t minus 2. Now, as this is a quadratic equation, we have to factorize this part here breaking it up into its two factors. Now I'm not going to go through the method of solving quadratic equations in this video, but I have videos on that if you want to look them up. Right, so these are the two factors. Then we split the two factors apart and put them both equal to 0. So 3t three three t minus 2 equals 0. Therefore, 3t is equal to 2. t is equal to 2 divided by 3. Likewise, t plus 1 equals 0, so t is equal to minus 1. So we've solved this equation, we've got two values for t. See here it says find the values of t, so we know we need to get more than one. And that's what we do basically. We, we substitute in for ft and f2t plus 1, then we simplify until we have everything on one side, and then we do our quadratic factorizing. Finally, splitting the factors apart and then 
getting the values, the two values of t. If you like these videos, please consider subscribing to my channel. I hope to upload more videos before the exam this week and we'll definitely be doing videos on the Leaving Cert next year. So subscribe and make sure not to miss out on those videos. Thank you.